Edinburgh and this morning we've had a chilled out morning. It's now about half twelve and we're going to go for lunch at the Cafe Royale which is behind us. And then we're going to head to Edinburgh Castle. Yeah. So much detail. It's always nice to start with some bread. So we've gone for the steak sandwich and fries. So how was Cafe Royale? It was good, I would definitely recommend it. The steak sandwich we had was lovely. It was really nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was so good. So now we're taking a very nice walk yeah. towards the castle. Look at the... Everywhere in Edinburgh is just so nice. So there's all these little closes, I think they're called, in between the different levels of the different streets and in between the buildings they're like really uh, quirky and a great shortcut as well and we're going into the castle so we had to pick a time slot so we picked between 2 30 and 3 um, because that was the only time available, basically. So that's the gun they fire at one o'clock every day. And just past the gun, you can see there's actually a clock on the wall as well. I think it's fired smack on one every day without fail. But we couldn't get tickets before one o'clock, so unfortunately, unable to see that today. Yeah, it's really nice and yeah. It's amazing it's built on a volcanic rock. It's not like look at this little courtyard. People that are queuing to get into the museum. I love how like the castle is literally just built on volcanic rock and you just see parts of it sticking through in places. This is the queue for the crown jewels, so we're going to join that shortly. Um, we won't be able to show you that though because you're not allowed to film inside any of So we popped into the tea room, which is opposite the crown jewels, because the queue is quite big and it's pretty warm, and we could do with a bit of a break. But it's really nice in here. Nice. So we've gone for the carrot cake, and it looks like someone's already started eating it. <laughs> and now she's got... The lemon drizzle cake. Drizzle cake, and no one's eating. <laughs> you see that little box up there? Apparently the king used to use that to spy on people. You look just down there. That's a graveyard for soldiers' dogs. I think we're almost coming towards the end now, but just taking in the views here for a few minutes. So this chapel is 900 years old. Look how small the door is. 
Yeah, gold building the castle. I'm leaving the castle now. We yeah. spent about two and a half hours exploring. Yeah, it was good, isn't it? Um, there was a few things closed because yeah. of COVID. Um, the apartments were closed, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but no, it was it was a it was a good little tour. Yeah, it was. It's a nice day, so I think that makes a difference as well. So now we're desperate for a bottle of water. So that's number one. Yeah. And then we're also probably gonna have a look in a souvenir shop. Yeah. We're gonna get a tartan throw from this shop, which is right by the castle. So there's lots of choice. We've wanted one of these for a while, haven't we? Yeah. So we thought Scotland's a perfect place to go on, and Thinking of this one. that's the one we're gonna get. So it's twenty-five pound. So we just got back to the room. Yeah, we've had another good day now, haven't we? Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's our last day today, though, so lots yeah. of it's sad. Um, next stop is York. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So we're gonna pack up um, this evening and yeah. probably leave around ten eleven tomorrow, and should be in York for four or five o'clock. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you on the next one.